Welcome back. Tomorrow's Earth Day, and who better to talk about keeping our planet clean than our good friends at the Army Corps of Engineers? We want to welcome Richard from the Army Corps to talk to us a little bit today. And Richard, last year you were here talking about Earth Day, and what did you do last year for Earth Day? Well, last year we we kind of continued our tradition of, of, of making every day Earth Day. We produced a short video last year, which was, was fun to do uh -huh. and was pretty informative as well. But yeah, we're very happy to be back. This is the 41st Earth Day, and, and the Corps of Engineers, kind of as you, as you alluded to, uh, is, is committed to, to really treating every day as, as Earth Day. That's, that's the nature of our job as the nation's environmental engineer. Now, not everybody <clears throat> knows what the Army Corps of Engineers does. You're right here in Charleston, right next to the Citadel, and what sorts of things do you do in the area? Well, the Corps of Engineers is, is quite diverse as, as, a, as a federal agency that's, that's part of the Department of Defense and, and part of the Army. Uh, we have a, an extensive civil works program that does all kinds of uh, assistance with infrastructure type projects that are water related typically uh, not exclusively and so so we do a lot of things we also have a regulatory program that hopefully we'll get to mention a bit more about uh, later but um, we also have a, a, a great deal of, of outdoor based sure uh, sites you know recreation activities because a lot of the people that really believe in Earth Day and what it stands for like to get out and enjoy mother nature and how do you do that here in South Carolina what's do you offer? Well, um, actually, we, we have uh, a number of of sites throughout the state. The 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 real most notable ones are Lakes Hartwell, Lake Thurman, um, Lake Russell, that okay. are in the Upper Savannah River Basin, uh, that offer the full gamut really of of outdoor and water-based recreation: uh, swimming, boating, fishing, but hiking. And, um, and, and day use camping as well. Those, those lakes are managed technically by the Savannah District of the Corps of Engineers. And, okay. and so certainly um, if one wants to visit their website and get more information about those lakes. But we, we've got uh, sites throughout the, uh, the state and throughout the country. Um, if I actually, actually put a plug in, really, um, President Obama has recently announced what's called America's Great Outdoors Initiative, and that okay. program has the, the, the strong intent of reconnecting Americans, and especially young people, with the outdoors. Definitely. And, and, and reminding people of all the many things that one can do outdoors. Uh, you know, many of our outdoor spaces are, are what helps us build our cultural traditions, our outdoor traditions. Definitely. And so this program is, is designed to, to, to remind us of that and and, and reconnect us to that. So what are some of the things, the suggestions you have for folks at home of, of things they can do to celebrate Earth Day every day like you folks do? Well, um, there's, there's a number of programs that, that the counties and states promote, which are uh, reuse, uh, reduce, reduce, recycling, and recycle. yeah, the RRR yeah, yeah. Uh, program. Our, our agency is, is more focused on water based things, particularly okay. our regulatory division, because we have permitting authority under the what's called the Clean Water Act, a very important federal law whose intent is to literally preserve and promote the long-term integrity of our nation's waters, mm -hmm. rivers, oceans, but also wetlands, many of which are entirely on private properties. Right, in, and very fragile ecosystems. Well, very fragile, very important to, sure. to the overall health of, of all of the waters, particularly the downstream receiving bodies, yep. uh, bays, estuaries. And so uh, through, our, through our regulatory program, we're, we're reviewing permit applications for work that's perhaps very necessary and we have that delicate balancing act that that, that we play in um, promoting preservation of important wet habitats right with the applicants needs and and one of the things you'll hear often is we don't deny many permits right but we modify nearly every one of them in such a way that we minimize the impacts and then achieve what we what we find to be the least environmentally damaging Make that meets right. the, that meets the applicants needs and and really that kind of I like talking about that on a day like this because it really puts that link in where our regulatory division's activities literally are uh, promoting the intent of, of preserving America's great outdoors so that Americans can continue to enjoy, to it. enjoy those. Exactly. Yes. And folks, if they want to talk more about Earth Day, the Army Corps of Engineers, you'll be out at Park Circle tomorrow, correct? We will. Perfect. We will. So yes. check them out. Richard, great to see you yeah, again Yeah, well, thanks year. for having us back. It's great to be able to talk about what we do. Well, um, great to have our, you here because you keep up the good work and we keep up the beautiful environment. Yes, we, that's, the, that's the goal. Thanks, Richard. Thank you so much. All right. Well, one of the